Hello, hello, hello. How is everyone doing today? I am melting, but in any case, I am here with a speed drawing or like a little process drawing of this character. He is Sherlock Nose. Originally Sherlock Schnoz, as you can see up in the corner, but I decided to change it to Nose because I thought that it would be a funny pun. Like he is a nose and he knows the mystery. It's stupid, I know, but so is a character with a giant nose for a head uh, carrying around a magnifying glass despite the fact he doesn't have eyes. But hey, as long as we acknowledge the stupidity, that makes it a choice and not just stupid. So with that in mind, let's move on to the rest of the process. The inspiration for Sherlock Nose came out of me just being bored on a Wednesday afternoon and absolutely melting because it is currently 90 degrees out here. No, wait, no, wait. It is 88 degrees right now. A full two degree drop from a couple hours ago. I am feeling chilly already. I might as well put on a sweater. But anyway, um, so I was sitting there, I was melting and I was just like, hmm, I wanna draw a character and I'm not sure who I should draw. Uh, let me look at my little uh, paper pile where I keep all of my sketches I do at work while I'm bored to see if there was anyone there. And here he was. He was originally gonna be like part of like a gang sort of. Uh, there was like this uh, cute little kid character with a giant eye for a head and a teeny tiny little body. And that was like really jumpy and cute and all that. Uh, I have a sketch of him that I also made so I put that on the screen now. You can see he looks very adorable. And I also have this other character that I drew that was just kind of like a, it was kind of like a lady with like a giant mouth for a head and she was going to be like a diva sort of. And she was going to have lipstick on and obviously she was very wealthy to be able to afford that much lipstick for her giant mouth face. Um, so they were going to kind of team up and like solve mysteries and sort of and that was just kind of the narrative that I was running through uh, while I was at work that day because it was kind of a slow day. Uh, but here I am just drawing Sherlock Nose and now, right now, I'm finishing up with his shoes. to draw like big, big, thick, sketchy lines here though, like using the textured brush actually um, from textured brush actually, uh, that's default in Clip Studio. I really like this brush. It has a lot of character to it and it's a really easy way to like add like a nice little style for my canvas a little bit to make sure everything looks good and it does so we are moving on. But yeah, I'm adding like more thickness to areas and actually I didn't really like the way that I drew in the shading on the nose. So I actually am doing that now, um, making the underside a little bit thick and then adding some lines for some extra shading. And it looks good. Adding some extra detail there. Just really trying to like bump up the line away to like emphasize certain areas and uh, identify the shadows. Although I do add other shadows later on when I color um, the character. Now we get on to the coloring. Um, I am very, I am happy with how the, how the coloring turns out. Normally I'm very bad at skin tones, but I am getting better at skin tones. And he actually looks like he has a skin tone that is not sunburnt or oompa loompa. So I consider this a massive success. Um, I kind of went for just like the same two shades. One of them is like the yellowish orange uh, that I use here for the skin and pants. And the other one is the blue that I use for the shirt and the magnifying glass. Everything else is shades of gray. I just 
did that honestly because I like to keep the colors simple. If there are too many colors going around, it just kind of feels like too much, you know? Uh, so here I'm just coloring in the belt loops and then we will get on into the shading portion here in a second. get into the shading portion um originally i did like go for like a cell shading sort of so you see me um adding this in there i thought cell shading because i it's like it's like a comic style sort of like a cell comic style so i i want to do shading uh cell shading at first but i did like layer um later on blend it in once i realized it looked a lot better on the nose and I wanted some consistency uh, but right now um, right now I'm kind of just using like colored shading I'm not using like a filter uh, for anything like that so I'm using like warm warm colors so purplish for the blues and more red for the brown of the pants focusing on the light being in the top left of the scene uh, more or less just intuiting that and I didn't actually, you can see that I didn't actually put in a little uh, sun mark for our reference. So I just kind of, I just kind of wing it. I just kind of wing it, which is how I'm doing a lot of these because it, it's, it's more or less just a silly sketch idea that I'm doing. And I realize now that I screwed up and accidentally put something on the wrong layer, but we do fix it pretty quickly and move on. So I do end up uh, going back in, and once I finish up with that, all the rest of the shading things, I go back in and I start realizing I don't actually like cell shading on the nose and blending the whole thing out. I'm using the uh, the one of the textured blender brushes that's also, again, default with Clip Studio. I don't really download my own brushes that much, so if I don't because I don't really feel like I need to. I know that there are some awesome brushes out there and I do kind of want to try them, um, but also I am just lazy. And then I just uh, blend in the shading of the pants. Like when I blended in the nose, it looked really nice. So I ended up just doing that again for the entire thing and he ended up looking really good looking really like good like a like again a little uh, little comic book character and adding a little extra brush there and then finally the shadow at the bottom for some easy little background thing and the text sherlock nose is on the case that is fun fact uh my own handwriting I decided I didn't like, uh, when I was doing my comics, I decided I didn't like the text for anything. I, di I didn't like any of the fonts that I saw that I tried out, so I'm just like, I want to be consistent, but I, I want to use my own handwriting, but I also want to be consistent. And then I was like, wait a minute, I can do that. I'll just make my own font. And then I did. So he is here, he is Sherlock Knows. He is on the case, and this is going to finish up, but I'm about done with my commentary here, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna say, you know? He's looking really good. I am, I am happy with how he turned out. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Until next time. You can see... You cannot see on the camera, because I have no camera, but I am doing finger guns. Right at my microphone. Until next time.